Hello dear friends, welcome again to my channel. Is me teacher D. Leo ninaenda kujadili au tunaenda kuzungumza geography form 4. Hii ni topic ambayo imekuwa requested na watu wengi wamekuwa wakisema tuizungumzie na mimi ninaenda kufanya hivyo. Ni topic gani ya geography form 4? Ni introduction to research. Kama ni maraka ya kwanza ni kuombe usiache kusubscribe, usiache ku like, ku share pamoja na ku comment katika channel hii. Na Leo tuenda kuangalia introduction to research ambayo inawahusu wanafunzi wote lakini ya sasa kwa kidato cha 4. Tuseme kwa kuanzia kwamba what the meaning of research? Tunapozungumza research ni kitu gani? Tunasema is a careful collection of data. Ni ule ukusanyaji wa taarifa. Tunasema data or information based kwamba tunapokusanya taarifa kuhusiana na jambo fulani linalosumbua jamii, afu tukalifanyia upembuzi wa hizo data na mwisho siku tukameki au tukatengeneza suluhisho ndio tunasema ndio research kwamba is a collection of data or information based on a problem analyzed analyzing the data and making conclusion out of the earth corrected lakini sasa kuna hii tunaposema is a collection of data maana ni nini ndio tunataka tujue what the meaning of data tunasema research data is a body of information kwamba tunaposema data ni body of information yani ni taarifa ni mkusanyiko wa taarifa fulani kuhusiana na jambo fulani kwa mfano tunasema corona corona imesababishwa ni watu wanapoanza kukusanya taarifa mbalimbali kuhusiana ile sasa hizo taarifa ambazo zijafanywa upembuzi ndo tunazisema ndo data kuna types of data au tunasema source yani tunapataje hizi data vyanzo vya hizi data ni wapi ndo tunaita sources of data in research kwamba vyanzo au aina za, za data cha kwanza au ya kwanza tunasema ni primary source au primary data ambayo tunasemaje is the original data yani primary data ni original data ambayo ina kuwa collected directly inapatikana au zinakusanywa moja kwa moja from the field kutoka katika eneo husika kama tunasema ajali imetokea basi wale watu waliokuepo pale walio tazama au waliopata wali ajali wenyewe wale ndo tunasema hizo ndio original data from the field they are obtained through interview unaweza kupata kwa kuoji questionnaire labda watu wanajibu maswali kwa walio tazama observation au tunasema focal group discussion kwa hiyo hii ndio tunaita ni primary data hii ni sehemu ya kwanza ya kupata taarifa au hizo body of information zenyewe lakini ya pili tunasema ni secondary data sasa hii secondary data ni kinyume cha primary data kwamba sasa hii is a data collected from the documents mtu anatoka hapa anaenda library anaenda kusoma kuhusiana na ile jambo labda ukimwi labda nini mwisho siku kutoka katika anakuambia from for example through books inaweza kutoka katika books katika journals na vitu mbalimbali hiyo ndo tutasema secondary primary inapatikana katika watu husika secondary unaweza kupata katika vitabu katika ma sites mbalimbali unaenda historical site unaenda wapi museum unapata zile taarifa zinazohusiana na kile unachokifuatilia ah sasa tuangalie objective makusudi matokeo aims is tuseme malengo ya research ni kitu gani tunasema malengo ya research ni ni to describe about a certain certain phenomena ku describe about the certain phenomena kwamba tunataka kutambua kuhusiana na na, na 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 jambo fulani lakini cha pili tunasema ni to search for a knowledge au to search for a new knowledge kwamba watu tunatafuta taarifa mpya kwamba unapofanya research lengo ni kutaka kupata new knowledge ufahamu kuhusiana na jambo fulani lakini to develop theory about a certain research kwa mfano unashagundua kuna tatizo fulani unapofanya research ukapata matokeo mwisho siku hapo una develop new unaenda ku develop theory about a certain social lakini kingine tunasema to test hypothesis lengo jingine ni kujaribisha au kulijaribu lile bunio lako ambalo umelitengeneza kuhusiana na tatizo lakini to be familiar with the certain phenomena kulijua zaidi tatizo lakini to find a solution of existing problem pia kutafuta solution ya kile kitu ambacho kimekuwa kinakusumbua au kinahusika lakini to make evaluation of a certain issue pia kufanya evaluation ya mambo mbalimbali kuya measure kufanya measurement ya masuala mbalimbali kwa hizi ndizo objectives au malengo makuu ya hiyo research na kama tukiachana hii tunaweza kuangazia umuhimu sasa wa, 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 wa importance of research ina umuhimu gani research unapofanya research ina umuhimu gani katika maisha yetu ya kila siku uh, zipo importance mbalimbali au zipo michango mbalimbali ya research research imekuwa na michango mingi um, na na tofauti tofauti kwa mfano tunasema research ina mchango kwamba na hii haya yote ni maswali ambayo yanakuja tunaweza kuja with the importance of research tafuta zingine hizi ni kupa ni chache research is the way to prove lies and 
to support the trolls ina sets inasaidia kuondoa uongo na kusupport ukweli watu walikuwa wajui corona ni nini mtu anapofanya research kapatikana true basi wanasema ah kumbe corona sio kitu fulani bali ukweli ni huu lakini wazo kasema research develop or oh, generate new knowledge watu walikuwa hatujui kusana na jambo fulani baada ya research kufanyika inakuletea ufahamu mpya unapata new knowledge about the phenomena it help to improve human activities kwa mfano shughuli zilikuwa zinafanyika kiregevu wajui watu wanakuaje lakini mwisho siku unapofanyika research na kugundua tatizo basi kuanzia pale ina improve zile shughuli zinazofanyika labda watu walikuwa wanafanya kilimo ghafla kilimo kizai wakatafuta kugundua tatizo ni jambo fulani kwa hiyo kutokea pale sasa inapatikana suluhisho lakini research can be used to develop new theory eh naweza katengenezwa theory mpya au sheria mpya kutokana na research kwamba jamani kipindi pindu kinasababishwa na kitu fulani kwa kuanzia sasa maji ya aina fulani yasitumike tena ni sheria ni baada ya research kwa imefanyika samahani sana kwa kelele ambazo zipo lakini ya hii reporter za research inaabo to find a solution lengo lingine linawezesha kupata suluhisho ndio research sasa tunaachana na importance hebu tuangalie types yani tunaangalia aina za research kuna aina mbalimbali za research sijaziotolea maana kwa sababu ni ndefu na ni nyingi mimi nimetaka kukupa tu kwa muda wako kazitafutie maana moja baada nyingine kuna hii research according to the aim au tunasema uh, purpose of the yani hii ya, ya kwanza ni aina ya research kutokana na malengo ya kufanya hiyo research ambapo aina hizi kuna tunaita kuna basic au pure research lazima ukatafutie maana yake kuna hii applied research lazima na yenyewe ukaitafutie maana maana zipo lakini ni very long kwa hiyo nikaona ni ziweke katika short tu upate ile awareness kusana na hizi types lakini kuna hii tunaita evaluative research lazima ukaitafutie lakini kuna hii tunaita analytical research na yenyewe ni aina moja wapo pamoja na hii tunaita fundamental research hizi ni according to the aim sasa tukifanya hii ya pili ni ile according na hii ni type ya research according to the data collected according to the type of data yani mtu anafanya research kutokana na amelenga data fulani zinabidi ziwe zimekusana sasa according to the type of data to be collected tunaleta tunaleta quantitative 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 research pamoja na qualitative research hizo ndio aina kuu mbili kutokana na type of data to be collected zimelengwa kabisa data fulani ndio zinahitajika kukusanywa kwa hiyo zina katika mfumo wa qualitative na quantitative sasa hizo zote kazitafutie meaning for your own time sasa tuangalie hizi stage of conducting research kuna hatua kama we ni mwana research au unajiita we ni mfanya research lazima ufate hizi hatua lazima ufate hizi njia au hizi taratibu ili ukamilishe research yako sio unatumia nguvu nyingi afu mwisho siku research yako inakuja kuharibika kwa sababu utakuwa hujafata hizi hatua hatua ya kwanza ili ufanye research yako kwa usahihi cha kwanza ni unabidi ufanye ile problem identification lazima utambue tatizo unafanya research kwa ajili ya kitu gani nafanya research kwa ajili ya ya ya, ya korea kwa ajili ya kipindupindu baada hapo lazima uende kwenye pre survey lazima ufanye survey za ile za mwanzo kabisa lakini lazima ufanye literature review usome watu wengine wanasemaje kusana na hilo jambo na mwisho siku utaformulate ile hypothesis tunaita bunia unafikiri sababu ya huo ugonjwa ni kitu gani lakini baada hapo uta research design uta design research yako unahitaji iwe namna gani baada hapo utafanya ile data collection utaanza kukusanya data kusana hilo jambo mwisho siku utakuja kufanya ile tunaita data analysis utakuja kuchambua data zile zinazohusiana na hilo jambo alafu mwisho siku utafanya hypothesis testing utalijaribisha ile dunia lako kwamba usema labda korea inatokea kwa sababu ya ya nini basi utasema utaitest je ni kweli mwisho siku unafanya data interpretation and preservation alafu mwisho siku utamaliza kwa kufanya ile tunaita report writing hiyo ndio research sasa next lesson mimi nitakuja tuanze kwa kuangalia moja baada nyingine Mungu akituwezesha tuangalie kwanza hii problem identification inakuwaje na zingine nyingi kama na mwaka wa kwanza ni kwamba usache kusubscribe usache kulike kushare pamoja na kucomment katika channel hii karibu sana